Our world is in peril. Gaia, the spirit of the Earth, can no longer stand the terrible destruction plaguing our planet. She sends five magic rings to five special... I'm not used to this. I like it because it's different. of lost hope. What? How'd I get here? You were summoned by nature. There is a great and growing threat. It needs your help. How can I help nature, strange voice? Remember, the power is yours. Hey, Newberry. How's it going? Been taking a nap? Oh, man, I don't know. I had this crazy dream and I woke up with this ring on my finger and I can't take it off. Oh, Me too. Man. Yeah. Got one too. That's awesome. That's pretty weird. You guys, remember that show we used to watch when we were kids? Captain what? Planet? Well, I, was like, I love that show. <laughs> that was forever ago. Well, I had a lunchbox. Do you guys all have the dream with the nature though? Well, wait a second. Wait. But if... Do you remember what, it, what did he say? I don't know. I had a lady in my dream. Her name was Gaia or something. Weird. And then I woke what? up with this right ring on my finger. Can you take yours off? I can't. Hey, you know what? <sighs> I remember from that show, mm -hmm. if we all have these rings, we have to be elements, right? Fire. So, I'm purple, look at, No, right? look at this. No, that's clearly blue. I see blue. That's blue. I must oh. be earth. This I is definitely fire. What'd you get? Mm -hmm. I think it was pink. I don't know, because I kind of ate mine. It was really good. It's inside of you. It's wait, like your wait, heart. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh! oh! <laughs> What's mine say? Quick. Fire! Yeah. Whoa. Yours is water. water. Oh, 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 purple. That Earth. is awesome. Yours is oh, blue. Oh. blue. You guys think nature's recruiting us to be the new planet team? I bet it is. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Shut up. What? Oh, what? Yeah, right. Let's see if last time you got nature to It was a us. dream. What? I don't think so. Oh. Except for this ring. Well, you know what? You know, know what? If we're really planeteers, let's test it out. Let's see. We all need to put our rings up in the air and call out our elements. All right. See if we can you, summon you Captain Planet. It's kind of weird, it's but kind of I don't know. I'm ready for this. What's the worst? I'm happen? ready for this. Right, yeah. okay, okay. Earth, fire, heart, water, water. It's not working. Like, okay. Uh, All right. So, Who was in your dream? What Some now? lady named Gaia. Yeah. I think. Oh no. Do you remember Gaia, Gaia you know hypothesis? hypothesis or you know what? I remember that from class. Maybe Kevin Plant is not going to come until we learn more about the Gaia hypothesis. I'll tell you what. You guys go to the old man with the scrolls that knows everything about Gaia. Oh, he lives the, in the woods. The, oh, wait, wait, the one the past woods. the tree in the... Yes, yes. by the okay. bench. Oh, sure. By yeah, the yeah. bench. Okay, so you go to him and learn about it. I'm okay. going to go get something to eat, so you guys can just come tell me okay. about it later. All right? Sounds good. All right. So, all right. See you later. See you later. All right. All right. Yeah. Bye. All right. I want to destroy the world. You Earth Destroyer, stop! <laughs> I'm going to destroy the world and there's nothing you can do! No! Yes! No! Yes! Your rings don't even work! Go learn about Gaia and come back and try to stop me! Okay. You have come to seek my truths. Yes, sir. We have come to learn about the Gaia hypothesis so we can summon Captain Planet and save the Earth. Oh, okay. Do you know anything about Gaia? Yeah, what do you need to know? Whose idea was it? <laughs> That's an easy one. James Lovelock, of course. Ooh. When? Oh, that's too easy. The mid-60s. He wrote a book about it in 1979. Oh, well, that's cool. But if this is a hypothesis, what is it about? Hypothesize for us. 
Oh, that's a good question. James Lovelock said that Gaia is a complex entity involving the Earth's biosphere, atmosphere, oceans, and soil. The totality constituting a feedback or cybernetic system which seeks an optimal physical and chemical environment for life on this planet. Through Gaia, the Earth sustains a kind of homeostasis, if you will, the maintenance of relatively constant conditions. Well, that's cool. That sounds like a pretty good theory, but still sounds kind of thin. Yeah, can you put it in your own words? Sure, I'd say the Gaia hypothesis says that the Earth is a living single cell that constantly adapting to keep it its equal equilibrium. Oh. That sounds a lot better. Oh, and also, did you know the ancient Greeks called their Earth goddess G or Gaia? It embodies the idea of Mother Earth, the source of the living and non-living entities that make up the Earth. In the Greek mythology, Gaia was gentle, feminine, and nurturing, but also ruthlessly cruel to anyone who crossed her. You're kind of like the minions of Gaia now, my little Earth planeteers, but you're missing one. Where's the, uh, where's the fire element here? Um, he left. He needed to get something to eat. Yeah, oh. so we told him we would tell him, you know, what happened oh. when he came back. Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> nice. Oh, no problem. All right, so, uh, where was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, it's mostly... It's a pretty basic configuration. Earth acts to regulate the flows of energy and recycling of materials. The input of energy from the sun occurs at a constant rate. And for all practical purposes, the idea and hypothesis is unlimited for the energy of the sun, that is. Uh, this energy is captured by the Earth as heat or photosynthetic processes and returned to space as long wave radiation. On the other hand, the mass of the Earth, its material possessions are limited. Thus, while energy flows through matter, uh, the matter cycles within the Earth. Again, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rivers and streams are Earth's blood, the atmosphere, Earth's lungs, and the land is its bones. And the living organism in our Earth senses. So, where do you guys are like the white blood cells of Earth? You fight to stop the destruction of it. All right. I think we've learned a lot about the guy hypothesis. Yeah, thanks. Thank we'll you. Yeah. And tell them all about it. Yeah, let's see if we can summon Captain Planet all right. now. All right, let's go. Hey guys, did you hey. learn anything about Gaia? We sure did. Come on, let's talk about oh, it. Oh man, yeah. I'm excited. Let's. So guys, now that we've learned all about the Gaia hypothesis, let's see if we can summon Captain Planet and stop the evil villain. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. You ready? Okay. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Let's ready. Go. Okay. All right. Earth. Fire. Heart. Water. Your powers combined. I am Captain Planet! That's enough of your roughhousing the Earth! No! Not Captain Planet! Oh yes, evil villain! No! I will go into the hole upon which you are digging and never get out to dig another hole! Yay for Captain, Captain Planet! Oh! Combined, I am Captain Planet! Captain Planet, he's our hero Gonna take pollution down to zero He's our powers magnified And he's fighting on the planet side Captain Planet, he's our hero Gonna take pollution down to zero said that Gaia is a complex entity involving the Earth's biosphere, atmosphere, oceans, and soil. The totality constituting... <laughs> Did you see that huge piece of space fall out of my mouth? It probably landed on my brain. No, oh, my <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> You Earth Destroyer! Stop! <laughs> I'm going to destroy the world and there's nothing you can do! No! Yes! Say it with me! No! <laughs> what? How did I get <laughs> What do I say? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, dang it, I love when I forget my line. <laughs> James Lovelock, of course! Dude, he's not! Why is this so much? I had about 90 pieces of spitball on that time! <laughs>